Here are some notes on chronic spontaneous urticaria. First, some etiologies and associations. 80 to 90% of the time this happens, it's idiopathic. It's also associated with atopic disorders, autoimmune disorders. Signs and symptoms. Patients will have symptoms for six weeks without an apparent trigger. So they'll have a rash like this, an urticarial rash. It'll be intense, pyritic, with round serpiginous erythematous papules. The individual lesions last less than 24 hours, and there's oftentimes associated angioedema, but not always. On evaluation of these patients, do a CBC, CRP, or ESR, liver function tests, and urinalysis. You can do a skin biopsy to exclude urticarial vasculitis or mastocytosis. Treatment and management of chronic spontaneous urticaria. Initial therapy is just a second generation H1 antihistamine and avoidance of aggravating conditions if you can identify them, like heat and NSAIDs.